Hey everybody, Ian of Austin here. I am here with my buddy JJ Tolentino. How are y'all doing out there? Welcome to the tour. Yeah, we're, we're gonna tour a three, it's gonna be a 360 video. So if you're watching using the YouTube app, you can move around with your phone, you can move around with your finger, but you wanna be able to pause and look and take in the space. This spatial awareness is important when you're doing a tour. Uh, <laughs> it's funny. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is JJ, talk about this view, look at this great view you got the lakeway hill country over here mm -hmm. and you got this sick driveway it's mm -hmm. super circular and it even goes to the left side of the house where there's a two-car garage with some storage space i like it and so this property just help me understand it's an it's a one acre which means it goes all the way to the edge of the street there all the way over to that side and then uh back quite a ways right yes about 1.1 1 .1 acre so all one right. acre plus nice so i like it out. out yeah let's take a look on the inside i love the gate in the front man that makes you feel all uh, special. It's nice. <laughs> and it's, gate. a, it's gated. You got this court space. Mm -hmm. And like the tree. The tree looks. This um, is the great part. Yes. Great. Plant some trees out here. Massive patio covered. Again, you get a better view of the view because you're now elevated. Yeah. So, and I'm noticing, so you get that same view from inside the house, from inside the primary bedroom. We'll talk about that more. And then when you're sitting on the, the patio as well. Uh, so I love the arches. I love the height of the ceiling, the size of the fan, and seating. You have seating for days, man. Seating everywhere. Great for hosting. Great for families to visit a house like this. Mm -hmm. You got two tables here, two chairs over here with a side table. Mm -hmm. Plenty more room to walk around. I mean, I'm looking at this door. So this door is solid. Uh, I notice, and we'll talk about it as we're going through. There is a lot of wood. Am I right? Yes, yes it's a rustic feel when we go inside and a lot of high quality wood. Mm -hmm. This isn't that, that builder grade stuff. <laughs> Come on in, you'll see it in the cabinetry, you'll see it in the built-ins. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so right here, like as soon as you step into the foyer, you start to see the attention to detail. And people ask, like what makes them, you know, a property worth more or less, right? Things like this. So can you talk about this little space here? It's a place for art, Look at this. <laughs> a little inset. You've got windows over here. Mm -hmm. You've got texture on the wall. I like it. Yeah, and even, you know, the little light coming down, it's almost like you're and enhancing. Granite. There's granite right there. The and place. granite, for crying out loud. So you're enhancing your living space from the moment you pull up to your property and you walk in. And there's two, which and you there, on 360. Oh yeah, you can see that. And so uh, also the, the size of this space and the natural light. I think the lights are just accents, but the windows provide so much natural light that this, ha this house is just, it's well lit, it feels large, the ceilings are vaulted, you've got three fans, you have no shortage of circulation for the air, built-in uh, built in speakers, what about that? Look at that, we talked about wood. Built in as well. So you got the wood beans you see here, mm -hmm. you get a cathedral feel, and again, high quality details. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, I like the fireplace, the way they did it. So it's, what kind of fireplace? Gas fireplace, and you yep. see it's between this living space mm -hmm. and this dining space. One of mm -hmm. two dining spaces. One of two dining. Out. They just they just want to have places for people to sit. That's what it is. This is every holiday gathering can be done at this house. I think that's how they designed it. Yeah. We're gonna get into the kitchen in a little bit, but let's go over to. We've got a couple bedrooms over here, right? We're gonna let that go. All right. So what is this? So bedroom number. Let's call it bedroom number one, right? Yes. But you got the two bedrooms over here. Masters okay. on the other side of the house. All right. So just to give you a sense of the side, I'm going to pop size. I'm going to pause for a minute. Let's assume this is a twin or a queen. queen. Let's say it's a queen bed, and this gives you a feeling of what uh, what size the house is. I'm sorry, what size the bedroom is, and then how deep the walk-in closet. So same thing. I'm just going to bring you inside so you can see how deep the walk-in closet see is. All the furnishings, me and Ian still walking around the room. Together. Yeah, still plenty of space to walk around, and they they the have dressers here. and end tables, a chair and a a desk, all in that same space. So the bathroom over here. Thanks. I'm going to show you one of the guest bathrooms just so you can kind of see what it looks like, and I'm going to bring it right back out, and then let's look at bedroom number two, bedroom and then the same two. thing just for spatial Rest awareness. The details up here. There we go, and that's showing off the backyard. And now. Let's jump across the house to the other wing over here and <laughs> hit the primary bedroom. Okay, so primary bedroom. So what did we say? We, obviously, we've got tons of light again. This and leads out. the patio. Mm -hmm. So you've got the patio and you have the view. Now let's check out the master bath, primary bath. You've got your dual vanity, two closets. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have the closet for each partner. Let's go take a look at one of them. Bathroom. Closet one, 
Closet one, you know? So that way there's no, there's no arguing. People like to argue. Like, oh, I, you know, I need this side of the closet, that side of the closet, and this, here's your other one. Now what's cool about this is it even has natural light. So when you're talking uh, black and blue socks, I think I talk about this a lot on my channel. Uh, if you have black socks, blue socks, you don't have to worry because you have natural light coming in so you can actually see that the colors are semi-accurate. Shower on this side. I like the shower, so the shower um, tile, ooh, stone, stone uh, features at the bottom, tiles, and then you have your double uh, double shower heads and jetted tub, jetted tub with storage under it. So that way you don't have to have all your stuff sitting on top. You got to sit, you have it sitting right under. And details are still in the, the wood. Oh yeah. The tree over here. Yeah, this is this tree wood is right. serious. I don't. I, they um they have spared no expense when it comes to that. Even the, the so the primary is vaulted. This is vaulted. The patio is really tall. Uh, let's let's go around and look at the garage real quick, and then we can check out the pantry and backyard, and then the kitchen. Oh 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 oh. So half another bath. half bath. All right, what's that? The third one you've seen? Yeah, that'd be two and a half. That's the third and last. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. So we're gonna step in for just a second and we've got a very large garage. We have storage space over to the side and then we have our water heater in here. We're gonna come right back out. Second, uh, second, what is that? Refrigerator. Let's take a look over here. Pantry, washer and dryer. Right, so this is a large space, and this is one of those things that uh, it happens a lot in Texas, but a lot of people don't. If they're coming from elsewhere, they may not see it that you have the pantry and the washer and dryer room kind of connected. Uh, it just depends on how the floor plan is laid out. So let's talk about this kitchen. Again, beautiful granite. Mm -hmm. Again, check out the cabinetry. Yep. Look at, look at the detail here. Look at the spice rack. Oh yeah. Well, that, I mean, that's like that's wow. <laughs> but that's that's the way the seller designed it. Uh, you also have um, more seating. Seating along the bar stools. You have a lot of power outlets. What kind of, this is like brick. What? Yeah, it's a brick backsplash. That is so crazy to me. Uh, so storage along the way, it's, uh, very tall. You've got um, beautiful textured glass cabinetry, a lot of natural light in the, sit in the kitchen. Um, uh, the range is, so it's an electric range separated from the double, double oven. So I like that. It's interesting when the range is in the island. Yeah. You know? Uh, the tiles, you don't, what, you don't see that too often. So you have 16 inch tiles throughout throughout, throughout uh, the house. Not a not a lick of carpet, right? No carpet? No carpet. Okay. And then let's take a look at the back. All right, so we've got the outdoor living area here. Um, remember, the land goes all the way over to the edge. Beautiful windows. And then what do we have? So another, you've got the wood again at the top. You have the grill with the gas stub out so you can change the grill if you'd like. What else? Obviously a fan. You can't live in Texas and not have a, a patio. Stucco, textured stucco. Yeah, let's talk about that for a second. The, stuc the textured stucco, I think that keeps the maintenance lower uh, as long as you keep it clean. That's my guess. I don't know. If you think differently, let me know in the comments below. Uh, what's the type of roof? Cement tiles. Okay, so we've got cement tiles. It looks like the uh, the terracotta, and maybe terracotta is a version of cement. I don't right. know, but it, it might be. It might be. Isn't that something? Uh, okay, and so the the land goes back there as well, beyond this retention wall. Yes. Yeah, so you were looking at that 1.1 acre, so that goes all the way to a, another road, Flint Rock Road, okay. and then continued land going this way. Okay. To that road. So it's kind of like a private entrance, and just a couple of houses. Uh, down this street. Very secluded space. I love it. So it's very secluded. So instead of going back in, why don't we just finish up and say, uh, if you're interested in this property, leave us a comment. Let us know. Let us know what you think it's uh, valued at or what somebody would pay for this. That's always a, a good question to ask. Yes. A little right? under 3,000 square feet. Yep. Three bed, two and a half bath. Uh -huh. And you saw the 1.1 acreage. Yeah. In Lakeway, in about Lakeway. how far would you say this is from downtown Austin? 20, 20 or so minutes. 20 or so minutes. With no traffic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Thank you,